Hi all! What you need for this 10 minute long muscle sculpting exercise routine is a yoga mat, a set of dumbbells, and a stopwatch. The weight factor should make the exercises challenging but still done with proper form. This is actually an intermediate level workout and can be done anywhere but it does require a set of dumbbells or some form of hand weights. If you would like an easier uh, level workout, you may be able to do this routine with no weights at all. The exercises involved include compound movements, which is working mus multiple muscles and joints at the same time. This is more challenging and way more effective than just single joint exercises, which just ex isolate working muscles and can maximize your workout experience in way less time. Before you begin, start with a short warm-up. Use a mixture of body weight squats, lunges, a little bit of side bends, and a nice march or jog on the spot, just to get your joints loosened up and ready for your workout. The objective of the workout is to perform each exercise for 30 seconds, which could equal about 12 to 15 repetitions. Make sure to have little or no rest in between each exercise. First exercise are dumbbell squats. Have one weight right by your chest or two weights resting onto your shoulders. Your legs are about hip or shoulder width distance apart and you're squatting down like you're about to sit onto a chair. Keeping your knees from going past your toes, keep your chest upright and drive your heels into the floor to push you up. Do this for 30 seconds. The next move is a single leg deadlift with a bent over row. This is to work the back of the legs and your upper and mid back. Stand with your legs relatively straight and hinge at the hips. Squeeze the dumbbells towards your torso. Really actively squeeze the shoulder blades together to work more the back rather than your arms. Keep the back as straight as you can and the shoulders away from the ears. Next, perform a reverse lunge with a bicep curl. Stepping one foot back, bend at both knees, making sure that the knee at the front leg doesn't go past the toe. As you go down into your lunge, curl the weights up into a bicep curl. Once you rise back up, switch legs and do the same on the other side. If this is too much, you can also alternate your arms or use no weights at all. For the next exercise, you would need to lie down onto your yoga mat. Taking the weights with you, lie down onto the floor and place your heels close to your seat. Rest the back of your head and the back of the shoulders onto the floor as well as drive your heels into the ground. Lift the hips up into a nice bridge pose. With the weights, you're going into a chest dumbbell fly, opening and closing your arms with a little bend in the elbows, keeping the weights directly above your chest. Keep the hips up the entire time. You're also working the back of the legs as well. The last exercise is going to be working your abs. Have your knees above your hips and your hands right by your ears, but not holding onto the neck. Come into a standard crunch and extend the legs. As you can see, I'm doing two different versions here. One is just extending one leg out at a time just to make sure that my back stays flat onto the floor and I'm working my abs correctly. A more advanced level is to extend both legs out and if you want a little extra, 
extend both arms as well. After completing the circuit, take a short rest, a little bit of water, and then repeat the entire thing three more times. By the end, your heart rate will be racing, your breathing will feel labored, and you'll start to break a sweat. This is a good thing. It means that you're working hard.